I'm Nick from Everything That Skates, and this is my review on the Toshiba Camelio X200. So, um, yep, let's get started. I uh, picked this up today at uh, Best Buy. I mean, not Best Buy, excuse me. HH Greg for $199. It was on sale. Uh, they told me uh, the um, the price usually there is around $230, so. Uh, not uh, not too bad at all. Here's a box. I really like to see the pretty box. Well, there you go. You know. But enough about the box. Let's just get to it. The box is ridiculously hard to open. So in the box, you'll find a quick start guide. It's in uh, this German, Japanese, and Spanish. There's one other one, but I'm not sure what it is. So get the quick start guide. Put that there. Get your mini HDMI because this shoots in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Um, lead exposure, cord has lead in it, so if you're a woman, you should wash your hands, because males can't reproduce. Well, get pregnant anyway. Uh, you got the CD, CVD, CD, um, it covers warranty information. Uh, it's a user manual and ARCs, ARCsoft software, basic, uh, photo video editor. But I picked up, uh, uh, also, uh, this I bought at Best Buy. This is a HH Greg Movie Studio HD Vegas. Um, I might review that later. Cleaning cloth for the lens. Lens cap. Put it on there. AV out, no in. Uh, and we got uh, this nice, mm, very soft bag to uh, hold it, and it'll hold it good. Uh, it's lined in foam, the box, so it's good. You also get, um, hold on a second. Sorry about that. You also get a uh, charger, um, you know, just standard wall charger, and, but it's over there because I had to charge it. You also get a uh, little remote, uh, which is <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, makes uh, like sit down reviews like this very easily. So, yeah. Now uh, I'm going to get on to uh, some of the stuff here. Um, you have a 12x optical zoom, a 20x advanced zoom, and a 60 digital zoom. Um, uh, when you first um, use it, this is going to be a little bar on this side, a little bar on this side, and it's like this. And you got a thing here. When you get past this, that's going into digital zoom. Um, optical and advanced is very good. Uh, digital zoom is what you find in the lower quality, lower budget camcorders, uh, to basically a digital zoom, uh, put it in short term, it zooms up in the pixels to see closer, so you lose a lot of um, resolution, so it won't look as good. This does have a built-in camera, it's 16 megapixels digital stills with an 8 megapixel digital sensor, so you're getting fairly decent photos for $200 1080p recording and 16 megapixel digital stills is very good, you know, you really can't complain for a uh, entry level HD camcorder. Um, uh, so let me talk about some of the features and effects that you can get in this camcorder. Um, as far as the video settings go, you can change your resolution, there's VGA, 720p at 30 frames per second, 720p <laughs> at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second. No 1080i. I believe the X100 Camaleo had 1080i, uh, which is 1080, 
60 frames per second. This one does not, which, you know, it's not really a big deal for me. Um, there is digital image stabilization. So up close or in a low zoom, there isn't going to be a lot of shake. Excuse me. But when you do zoom out, you know, farther, there's still going to be that shake. So, you know, just be prepared for that. Uh, there's slow motion. Uh, I'll get. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. There's um, a motion detect, which is if you sit a, sit your camcorder somewhere. I'm not sure if it'll work when it's off, but when it's on, whenever something moves move, moves past the lens, the camera will automatically start recording. I thought that was a very a very unique feature. Um, I've never seen that in any other uh, type of camcorder. Um, I'm looking, there's, there's some notes right here, um, sorry. What else is there? There's, hmm. oh, there's time lapse, which is very good. Um, I really like time lapse. It, it uh, really, um, it, it's that one little, it's like, it's that one extra thing that really tops it all off, you know? Um, the, the settings in the time lapse is one, three, and five seconds. So, um, I guess I can put that in every five, every second you record, it's like it's five seconds. So, five seconds of, wait, no. I'm, I'm gonna get this wrong, so I'm just not gonna go there. I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> um, there's a whole bunch of other features that I'll let you explore yourself, but this is just a basic review. Um... Now, back to the slow motion. The thing about the slow motion is... <clears throat> slow motion, it's going to be somewhat grainy. Um, I'm going to say this right now. If you're going to use the slow motion, keep it in where it's very lit. Because in a poorly lit room, it's going to look ridiculously grainy. But So, daylight, high daylight, or with uh, very fluorescent lights, you, sh you could be able to get away with it. But um, I would... Uh, it's um it's a cool feature to have, you know you can um it's one of those things like hey my camcorder has slow motion built to it what now, but um I for my slow motion, I usually oh, I'll just go and say my I usually use um I use Sony Vegas, so and I skate that's my channel everything skates but I thought I just had to make this review because I don't I really, there's like no other good reviews on this camcorder because it's a fairly new camcorder. Um, so, yeah, the slow motion, another thing about it, I, I do, I don't believe that there's any type of audio that, that you'll get when you record. Stand by. Sorry about that. Anyway, there isn't any audio when you record in the slow motion, so, you know, it's, it's just one of those little things that they decided to throw in there. Um, hmm. Now, let's talk a little bit about the remote. Um, you can start recording, you can take photos, you can throw stuff away, you can browse through, like, your playback. Um, you can also zoom, which I'll show right now. Pretty cool. This is one click of the remote at a time. So, you know, let's see if you can see this here. Let's see if it'll. This also has pretty decent manual focus. Alright. Come on, focus. Focus right there. Come on. There we go. No. There we go. Okay. Whoa, what is going on there? So, uh, it's trying to compensate for something I can see. But, uh, you know, to zoom out. At distance, it doesn't do that. So, I guess that's just an up-close thing. Because it's not doing it now. So, 
I don't know. Um, make your own opinion for that, I guess. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I don't think, I just, I just, it's probably for one of these up close things. I mean, if you're far away filming like an event or something like that, I don't think you'll notice it. But I am sh recording in 720, 60 frames per second, so that might have something to do with it on 1080p 30 or 720 30 or VGA. Uh, you might not get that problem. You might. Um, so, I don't know. What time am I at here? All right. There's also macro mode, so, you know, everyone knows what macro is. It's just to see up close without losing any um, any of your uh, image quality. <clears throat> um, another thing, um, I purchased this camera. I'm going to be filming a lot of skateboarding, obviously. There is no threads to attach any additional lens. So there is a uh, lens on the market. It's a fisheye wide angle. It's a Raynox QC303. It's clip-on. Now, if it fits, I'm not completely sure. I'm ordering it soon. I do believe that it fits, but I will post you on that if it does or does not. But if that does not work, I do believe you could get away with gluing um, some type of adapter or a step-up ring, something of that sort, on the outside edge and screwing on a fisheye or wide-angle type of lens. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not completely sure. So, I don't know. Judge for yourself on that. And one last thing I want to talk about this camera. When I first ordered it, I charged up the battery. The camera did not perform right. It was lagging. It was turning off. It was all these ridiculous problems. I was getting very frustrated. I had no idea what to do. So, I let the camera charge. It was fully charged. I let it on there. <clears throat> I let it on there for about 30, 30 extra minutes and nothing, um, then it started working again. So basically I'm just trying to say just try to be patient with it, don't return it because in the long run it's, it's, it's going to be a good camera, it's going to serve you well, you're going to get a lot of high quality stuff. So that kind of, that uh, concludes my uh, review here of the Toshiba Camaleo X2 on a camcorder, be sure to like comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. It'll help out a lot. It probably won't. Other people say that, so I'm going to say it. And, um, yep. Uh, follow my stuff. Uh, it's me, all of my friends. Uh, we skate. Everything skates. That's our channel, so thank you for watching. And, uh, see you later.